Greetings everyone. It's the hourglass time. How are you guys feeling? Leo season. Happy birthday to the Leos. It's the last day of July. None of that matters because all my videos are timeless. But I've been getting some downloads, you guys. First, I had some really strange dreams. Um, I'm gonna go right into it and I'm gonna speed it up as I could I'm gonna talk as fast as I could right now so in my dream I'm visualizing or I'm seeing a human body just drifted in mid-air kind of like drifting down but in a very slow motion anyway so I'm seeing the body the naked body and then all of a sudden I'm seeing like the muscular form of the body and then it goes into the nerves and then it goes down to the skeleton system and then all of a sudden i'm seeing the spine dislocate from the skeleton and coming towards me just drifting towards me and then all of a sudden it melted into a black color so that prompted me when i got up to search for spine candles I mean, they're small, good size for design or whatever, right? Decor, right? And there are black spine candles. So spinal issues or the vertebrae, the nerves in the spine may be very important to this um, reading. I don't know. And then um, I dreamt about, so it's like two different dreams in the same night right so then i dream about seeing a cage strung up in mid a with like chains holding it and i could see fingers on the cage but i can't see the person and they're squirming around or they're moving around in there and they were like hunched over i guess so their head don't hit the top of the cage and they were like moving around in there but i can't see if it was a man or a woman so i'm and then when i was coming to to wake up i heard get back in your cage so i don't know you guys that was kind of strange and then i was thinking about booby traps for some weird reason so spinal issues and booby traps big up on yourself in the comment box if you guys have been experiencing strange dreams the tower card has been popping out a lot on um uh on readings multiple readings i've been doing checking the energy the tower card so that's letting me know that the most high is allowing a lot of tower moments in your life i'm i'm saying it to say don't focus too much on the betrayal or what was exposed but focus on what is trying to show you about yourself it's like something is being unraveled that was knotted up keep getting knotted up knotted up knotted up it's time to unravel it it's sort of like seeing fish and twine and it's all like knotted up in this big ball be i'm getting be careful how you pull it's going to tighten the knot. So it's like um, a karmic breakdown of a pileup. Powers of five. And then another thing. Yesterday was the last day of my banana pudding craving. Like for two, three weeks, I've been having this crazy craving for banana pudding. I'm not pregnant, you guys. <laughs> Before you go there, right? And... It's so crazy because the night before I went into work, I was on this hunt for like banana pudding uh, cake and I had all these recipes saved. And when I got into work the next day, how about somebody try to gift me with banana pudding without the bananas? And I was just like, I accepted it, but I threw it out because I'm very finicky with eating from other people. But I accepted it to be nice, but it has no bananas like like sliced up in there why would i eat a banana pudding with no bananas that's the whole point so it, i'm saying that to say be careful of what you're craving or what you're desiring it may be offered to you but not in the way you want it it's up to you to settle for it but what i got from that whole episode was don't settle for what is given to you 
especially if it's not exactly how you want it because who the hell eats banana puddings with no damn banana slices in there you see what i'm saying but long story short i got my banana pudding fix yesterday i ordered three banana puddings and under my name and that was crazy too because nobody ever spells my name correctly and this place i don't know if my information is in there because of my phone number or whatever but i don't remember giving them my my name like that they could have call id i don't know but under my name was ton loads of fucking zeros bruv and i did search that up um like triply quadrupled zeros apparently means powerful signs of changes yada yada if you you know want to pin that in the comments go straight ahead so let's see what's going on I'm getting, this is a, f a fresh lens reading, so this may open up your psyche, it may broaden your insight, help you to understand something that was kind of like, it's like, you know what it was, but this could be confirmation of you accepting what it was, or digesting what it was, ooh, what it was that, passion, wow we have insane chemistry so some of you may have like this insane chemistry situation going on some of you um there's a burning desire for someone but i'm getting that the interest you guys may want the same things or like the same things but how you go about doing it is totally opposite or different i mean that you may be uh really serious about something and the other person may be you know just wanting to have fun Oh my God, there's a passionate project and it's very personal. So you may be taking it serious, but it's still fun. It's still a fun thing. How was that, you guys? Poker face. This was a jumper card. So we're going to rock with that passion poker face person. We have love. Is it love? Or maybe it once was love, but it's over now. You know that song? It was love, but now it's over now. All right, so I'm getting that someone may have, okay, so I'm getting like this poker quote or a poker saying. Somebody's, somebody takes their identity or reputation very seriously, not showing hand. So both of you may be desiring for this passion and this love, but you're not showing it. Take a chance and bet. Someone may want to take a chance. And express love to you. This is an ongoing cycle with this person. They have the urge, the strong urge to show you what's up, risk it all. But then they don't. I'm hearing the lack of love. The lack of love or the lack, the lack of energy. Wait, 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 wait. Because <laughs> love, love is a primary expression of the most high and true nature, right? And when it's lacking, when that energy is lacking, there's something else filling the void. And my mind, it's like I see the word selfishness, but in my mind, I saw selfish. So I'm, I'm seeing something here, but in my mind, it's just selfish and it's selfishness here. So the lack of love energy it's being filled by selfishness and power. Because this is like a power play here. With the poker face. So love is lacking. Even though somebody feels it. They're not showing it. So it's lacking in the present moment. And it's being filled with selfish. Selfishness. Power. And I am guessing that. No amount of love that you show this person is going to fill that void or take away the selfishness and the need for power. That's something that the Most High needs to step into. So if you're getting readings and every time you see the Seven of Pentacles, your reader may be telling you you need to have patience or their patience is required or you're frustrated. Listen, that Seven of Pentacles is telling you that this is a fate zone or a fate phase where you have to allow the most high spirit source divine whoever you want to call it as you have to allow that energy to do its part because the impossible is giving more love is not going to change this this power play this person is on right now they find it to be exhilarating it's something that they always were doing to win 
that's what I'm getting. That's what I'm sticking with. Take it how it resonates. Yeah, and then seven red. I got seven red yesterday, and I was thinking maybe that's like a card. Yeah, and in this in this <laughs> image is the ten of swords with the ace of cups. So it's almost like love may not be enough or giving too much love may deplete you or defeat you or it's like the more you give this person the more they take and not able to give back something about empty cup with the ten of swords and the ace of cups yeah this person may love the way how you love them they love the passionate aspect of the situation um very attracted to you but what is it all amounting to if this person we have the thief my deck is upside down so pay no minds yep this card listen every time it's like i do a lot of readings daily whether it's paid for or i'm just checking energies or studying the thief card was coming up so many times and i have recorded it every video it comes up so this could be a time waster. This could be someone that wastes a lot of time and wait till the very end to kind of jump and do something. Or when they feel like they're losing, that's when they want to push all the chips in and take that risk, take that chance. The thing is, it feels like this is going to be an ongoing cycle or a way of life with this person. Some of you, this person could have used children. I'm hearing somebody used um taking care of children or babysitting watching children as an excuse to kind of dick around because i'm seeing like this prostitution energy or this whole street walker energy and the man is like side eyeing her all right and it's like yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna get back to you just let me handle this business over here so somebody could be into like flings very passionate rendezvous you know getting fucked and forgotten about or somebody just feels like they need to pay for sex because it's easier for them this could be their mentality um and that's how they go about dealing with things i'm getting also that this person didn't expect to fall in love we could have a trickster we could have someone that really gives a lot of their time to this types of lifestyle with scamming and conning they could be hanging around people like that they could also be involved in like heavy sport gamblings and stuff and they don't win most of the time but they're always optimistic and always willing to give that a try or um, a chance or they're always willing to risk it all on those types of endeavors so that could be the selfishness they're always taking. They feel like they're like they're stealing or misusing some sort of unconditional love. We have toil and uh, labor. Um, we have the number 11 and 24 or 38 and 24. Break the numbers down. I got that message strongly from my guides from like a month ago, two weeks ago or so. I can't remember, but it's like, yeah, doubly, triply numbers, synchronicity numbers is cool. But when you see repeat numbers, 24, 24, 38, 38, break down those numbers. What does two mean? What does four symbolize? And put it all together for your um, guidance. <clears throat> yeah. So love takes work love takes work i'm also hearing healthy relationships is when you take turns giving love and i don't feel because somebody's not showing their hand somebody's not laying their cards on the table they're actually turning to the side giving you the shoulder or the cold shoulder and they're looking at what's in their hand and giving like a smirk I'm, this could be you at an actual poker game but i'm seeing somebody turning their body to the side there's a shoulder uh that's facing to you and they're lifting their cards they're flipping their end of the cards up and smirking so i don't know if this person is the lulu and they have definitely convinced brainwashed themselves that they have the winning hand but somebody could be definitely cheating hey or somebody's using an uh, expert. So I'm also getting that somebody may be using your expertise to win. Because I'm hearing somebody's a professional that's helping an amateur win. That's cheating. 
Some of you may also have siblings that always cheat and um, tease you, bully you. You were always made to work harder to get what you want. Or somebody definitely doesn't believe in hard work, y'all. So I'm going to kind of move on from that. Yeah. Somebody's, somebody's trying to get over the game. Or they think they have the winning hand in the game. Receive. Yeah. Somebody's all about opening their hands and just taking. Like, whatever you're given, they're going to take. They're open to accepting anything you could give. But what is, it's like... They're not showing their hands. You're showing your hand. Some of you, a miracle is about to happen. And I feel like you may have joy stealers around you. People that kind of reduce what magnificent things that's about to happen to you. Some of you are praying for unconditional love. Be careful you don't have someone that's telling you the right things, doing the right things in their early stages to win your affections be careful what you're posting someone could be collecting data about what you're desperate to get we have regretful so someone knows that they're hurting you with the life that they're leading point blank some of you this person may have regret taking too much for, from you and not taking a chance and giving more they regret looking at other options or investing in other options someone may have prematurely i'm hearing i'm drowning in debt and regrets so right now okay so i'm i'm getting like i don't even feel for this person i'm gonna channel everything that i'm sensing feeling hearing i don't even feel for this person because this person was in the lulu land about winning right they thought they had this in the back. Whatever the fuck that was. And I feel like it all went to craps. Or it went to shits. And it's like they're looking for you. To like soothe them. Baby them. Or potentially um, give them more money. Maybe somebody's trying to hit you. With some sort of sob story. That they need to pay something. Some sort of debt. And it's like you're working hard. For your little monies. Or... You may be leaving hard work or earning things, and this person is like seeing an opportunity. I don't know. I'm just getting that they're going to give you a sad story, and they may take the money to do something so stupid that it feels embarrassing to you. I'm hearing that they depleted your wholesomeness or maybe your bank account. This could be like a 401k or something is what I'm getting. 401k or something. Yeah. I don't know. I'm seeing like two-faced energy crying in front of you but excited to spend whatever you gave them. Spend it all away. They love the thrill of gambling. It's exhilarating. It's it's thrilling. Pause one second. Pause. Unpause. I'm sorry, you guys. I had people yelling in the background. <laughs> yeah, it's like... Some of you may be pulling in that money. You're the breadwinner. And this person is out just gallivanting. Squandering your money. Squanderers. Yeah, and they have like a, a place they go to to kind of hype their ego up. And they're, they're the people are like false flattery and pretending to be all excited to see your person. I'm hearing pretenuous idiots. Ow! I don't know. I'm hearing that some of you may have been saving money for surgery. It's like I'm seeing like fluid or drainage. Somebody draining out fluid. Mm -mm. what is going on here is this love real what is the what is the main emotion besides the love here with wholesomeness safe so some of you may be praying for a safer love or you are a safe per you are a person that practices safe love and this person may be taking advantage of that y'all 
yeah look at that you're very nurturing you may have like this parental love towards this person very devoted we have the word affection or affectionate twice you're a tender person very kind oh my you guys, I'm getting this vibe of be careful this person don't um, take too much that you end up homeless. Because I'm hearing the shelter will be washed away. Um, if you guys are in a weather system right now or, you know, because hey, my neck of the woods, we just went through a tornado and a hurricane. So prepare for the storm or there's a storm that's about to happen and it was supposed to wash away or cleanse whatever is um, not really firm or strong. Hey, I'm also getting that some of you may be like pushed into your shell or pushed. It's like you're being pushed down within yourself to feel safe. Some, of, some people may feel safe at work. Then at home, I don't know. What is this person, this thief? What emotions? What is the main emotion here with a thief? Look at that. They want to be consoled, babied. It's like they have no problem going to sleep. Like how does this person sleep at night? Some of you, you may be the teddy bear where they're like, holding on to you, very attached to you, like a security blanket. While you're up at night, this person is like snoring. And you're just like, how is this person sleeping at night? Yeah, they want you to nourish and reassure them all of the time. I'm getting, I want your attention all the time. Or they love attention. This is someone that goes to the same four locations. They do the same things all the time. This is in their comfort zone. Look at that. Proud uh, as an overall energy. So some of you, this person may feel like you're eye candy, a trophy wife, trophy husband. This could be that somebody's like masquerading online while behind the scenes. They're asking you for a lot of help or stealing to look good online. Wow too proud this person is too proud to acknowledge the issues that they have i'm also channeling from yesterday let them keep their issues it's all fun and games when you could help but when you refuse or when you say no without reason i feel like this person is easily to walk away or something Then there's no honor amongst thieves. Wow. Hold on. Pause. All right. So we're going to bust down the tarot and see if we could get some key characters or elaborate more on the situation. Yeah. Because look at if you look at her clothes right here, it's all like tatted worn so some of you may have a uniform and it's like all not dingy but faded out and this person is looking good look at that appearances is a big issue here so some of you may be tired over overly tired is what i'm hearing get some rest if you can maybe bills or depths is on your mind you got to take two or more jobs here I'm getting unconditional love towards someone is stealing a lot from you. Wow. Let's bust on a terror and see what's going on. King of Swords. So this is a true poker face energy. So I guess when you speak into this person, it feels like you're speaking to a brick wall. Or they show no emotion. It's like a blank face. You can't tell if they're like listening to you or ignoring you. Huh. It's like a few expressions. It's like not telling you what they're thinking. Nine of Cups. Wow. Overindulging with the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups has a lot of 
passionate projects that's going on in the background. Passion is a big thing with the Knight of Cups as well. So it's it's almost like I'm investing in things that make me feel alive, even though it's a gamble, it's risking a lot. Heartbreakers are here with the Thief and the Knight of Cups. So it's like, I love you until you do this. Or it's like, I'm, I'm going to stop loving you if you do this. Nine of Cups. This could be a water sign with fickled energy. Or it's just all about how they feel. What are they hiding behind this smirk? The truth about how they're getting their desires. Knight of Swords. This could be a Gemini masculine energy. It feels really selfish here. Let's shuffle again. King of Swords, Nine of Cups, and the Knight of Cups. Same things that you want to hear to calm the situation. And this could be like risky um, business ideas or risky side hustles. Hmm. Risky side hustles keeps ringing out. All right, let's see what's going on. King of Swords. Really believe in their ideas, you know. But doesn't want to risk their own. Looking for sponsors. Because I'm seeing like logos. Queen, uh, the King of Pentacles. So we have the King and... King of Swords, King of Pentacles energy. Yeah. Very transactional behaviors. Trades. Stocks. This could be someone that's looking for a fruitful side hustle. Could be looking at the um, pros and cons. So they could have someone here, very masculine energy, that's looking for a side hustle, but they're kind of gauging or waging what has to be invested first. This could also be the king. We have a king of pentacles meeting up with a king of swords to talk about some sort of risk. The Nine of Cups could talk about over like a um, business uh, dinner or over drinks. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Slow money is better than no money. So it could be like a large bargaining chip. But the, the payback is kind of slow. This could also be that the Knight, the King of Swords is trying to ask the King of Pentacles for a loan. You know, go into a financial institution to try to get a loan. And we have the page of pentacles. So it's like, I don't know. It feels like somebody wants to invest, but they have nothing to invest in. Or what they're selling, it's a bunch of trash. And that could be, when I say selling, that could be like the proposal. It's not worth the risk. I'm getting that this could be brothers, king of pentacles, king of swords, or they consider themselves brothers. What is the thief energy about? Is that the page of pentacles wants, wants to give nothing or the bare minimum to receive more? Doesn't see the lasting value in an in a investment. So the king of pentacles doesn't see the lasting value in an investment, even though there's unconditional love, hey. Someone could be too focused on money and still losing money. Or that's why they're focused on money, because they, they keep losing money. Squandering is the big key word, hey. We have the four of pentacles. Yeah, this is a lot about financial um, savings. Holding on tight. The thief. This could also be that somebody's acting like they don't have any money or acting like they can't pitch in, but they can. It's like everything they look at, it's it's 
too much. It's like going to a sale and being like, that's that's too much money still. Like talking down prices. Who is this person? And this could talk about a lot of debt too. Acting like they're not in debt. Living up, um, trying to keep up with the Joneses. Four of Pentacles, Thief. What is this? It's no payback, hey. How could you sleep at night without paying back? Hmm. Queen of Cups, Seven of Cups. Red Seven. Reds could be the hearts. Seven of Cups, Seven of Hearts. There's going to be a, a wrong choice made. There could be a Queen of Cups that's trying to nurture the situation. Or always trying to nurture a person. Always trying to show this unconditional love. Being kind, sweet, giving, extra nurturing. And then this person is like hands in the pocket all the time. I'm going to leave it up to you because you're so kind. You always nurture the situation. So I'm going to just leave it up to you while I just have my hands in my pocket. Ew. Queen of Cups, you could already... I'm feeling like if you're in the Queen of Cups energy, whether you're a guy or a gal, it's like you could already you could already see the end game. It's like I'm getting this parental love. Like, you know, this person may have an addiction to risking a lot of money or squandering money. And it's like you feel pity or sorry or you're saying that you love this person so much that you always believe what they're pitching or saying or you're letting your emotions cloud what you know. It's like maybe you got conned before, you know the signs, but you're allowing your love for someone to cloud what you know they're doing. Ah. Maybe you have like a pet or you yourself have a hobby and you're neglecting it to kind of help nurture this person's situation. Someone could be hitting you a lot of sad stories or they're telling you a lot of different hustles that they have. But it's all to confuse you with the seven of cups. Maybe they're coming to you and telling you, hey, I have... Um, this amount of money, could you help me with the rest? I just need, you know, this amount of money to pay the debt. And you're confused because before they already showed you that it could be a con or you were con before and the signs are repeating again. And you feel like hurt or you feel a little guilt to say no. Mm, I'm seeing like someone telling you, well, look what you're spending money on. So maybe you buy like things that they consider trash or worthless. Like I'm seeing like someone pointing out because Queen of Cups has a lot of crystals in her bowl. Pets. We have like parrots, birds, cats, dogs. Um, this could be your favorite snacks. Maybe you have something that you do weekly after work and they're telling you that that's a waste of money it's like they're trying to confuse you or make you feel guilty for saying no seven of cups oh my gosh this is the lulu land feeding you a pipe dream or a fantasy and it's like you know they could be better or they could do more and that's why you try to like reassure them or you try to talk sensitive, sense into them. Or you try to tell them how much you love them. This could even be like the king of swords going to a king of pentacles. That could feel like a lone shark energy. And you can't help but feel overly protective. But you're overly exhausted about the situation. Some of you, this person is only with you for money. They may feel like they hit the jackpot. Or they were pleased. Um, or they act pleased. They love you more when you give. Maybe at one point you felt like extra loved. 
the way how they would respond to you giving but I feel like you're overly exhausted and it feels like a chore to keep giving to this person now because they never really show you loving or tender affections outside of you giving them something material materialistic what is this you may be shocked how this person reacts at times. It's like you know the truth. With the Queen of Cups, you know. Don't dishonor your feelings. Nine of Wands. Somebody may be um, coming out of surgery, recovery. This could be cosmetic surgery. I'm seeing like a lot of band-aids around the chin. Let's keep going. This is crazy. Seven of Cups come out again. Maybe you guys are trying to protect yourself with the Seven of Wands. I mean, the Nine of Wands. I'm sorry, you guys. Yeah. It's like you have too much going on or it's too much already going on with this person. And it's like they're trying to dig you guys deeper into a hole. Why is this Nine of Wands Hey. Yeah, you're kind of trying to slow down on how much you give to this person. Or your body is trying to slow you down because you need rest. Something about a panic attack. Somebody's in a panic. I don't know if it's this person. Maybe they squandered all the money. Maybe they, they try to do a gamble to flip money and they lost all the money and they're in a panic. One bad choice after the other. Maybe they're sitting with themselves and realizing it's too many mistakes. Whatever system or whatever their Dululu, whatever they convince themselves of winning, it's piling up with the bad choices. It's like it's catching up. For some of you, this could be the past catching up with a person. I don't know if they're, they're stunting. Maybe they're stunting. On social media and they owe somebody money and this person is catching up to them uh-uh somebody may have to cancel a plan that was arranged many months ago many moons ago maybe you're trying to tell this person to be patient get a get a job and they're like frustrated with that talk Wow yeah, this person is about to get defensive if you bring up. It's like you can't bring up how much you did for them. You can't ask them for any. It's like they're trained you not to ask them for anything. But it's so easy for them to, to like put their hand out to you. They're very edgy or they're always on the edge. They always have a chip on their shoulder. Very paranoid. This person is exhausting. This situation puts you in a, pa a panic or paranoia energy. This person is not learning from the past. And I feel like you know with the Queen of Cups energy, you're going to have to allow this person to hit rock bottom. Why did I put that card up like that? That's strange. <laughs> Yeah, you're going to have to allow this person. And this could be... I'm sorry, I had to look back. The wind, the air condition was blowing pretty hard. I was like, what is that whistling noise? It's like... I'm hearing like a lone shark be very like humorous to somebody that owes them money. It's like they're saying... It's like tisk, 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 tisk. You never learn when to stop. This person doesn't like to fold. I don't know. It's like when they get caught up, it's like they have like this baby energy. Like you could almost feel bad for them, but then they go right back and do the same thing. When would you learn with the nine of wands and the seven of cups? They may feel like this time, this time I'm going to win it all with the seven of cups. It's like they're choosing a cup out of the seven of cups, but it could be just another loss. You're very suspicious because you've seen it before, you hurt before with this person. Some of you know this person doesn't love you the same way how you love them with the unrequited love, Nine of Cups. Very persistent. This person is very persistent. 
with taking a chance or axing you. There goes the King of Swords. Wow. Refusing to compromise with this King of Swords and the Nine of Wands. Listen, this King of Swords thinks that their strategy or their reasonable approach is a winning chip. But I'm getting that it's not. They wait, they, they wait till the last minute and think that's the right time they're waiting for. Uh-uh. Very guarded. I feel like if you push, push on this person for answers, they're going to push back on you by being defensive or like degrading or harsh. And they have like this like sour shit face. You can't get to you can't read them with the king of swords but this could be someone that's very hostile and harsh they feel let down we have the queen of swords king of swords some of you like the passion could be gone this is like a couple that argues and belittles and like tit for tat vibe with the king of swords queen of swords this could also be that sometimes the queen of swords when she talks the king of swords feels let down or they feel really bad two air signs could be together libra with an aquarius libra with a gemini Ge take it how it resonates i feel like the king of swords tries to appease the queen of swords but her back is turned both of these cup this couple backs are turned towards each other didn't i talk about giving the cold shoulder and looking at the cards with a smirk so this king of swords may feel like they're getting over a queen of swords but the queen of swords makes it her business not to make the same mistakes again a mistake done once is fine but when you keep committing to the same old mistakes over and over it's a violation it's an act of an enemy so they could be like in this enemy energy cold as fucking ice not saying anything up in their own little worlds this king of swords may be tempted to cheat on this queen of swords and the queen of swords possibly doesn't give a hoot because it's a lot of selfishness that has replaced love wow some of you this king of swords may come after a queen of cups because of the emotional support and stability or come after the queen of cups because she has a lot i'm getting like a piscerian energy this piscerian queen of cups is going to usher in an ending Hmm. i'm getting aquarius with a pisces energy that could be a coupling or it could be like placements in a chart two of cups and i have that on my back burner what did i why why keep saying that it's my backboard back burner so maybe um love is on the back burner and somebody's looking for help you know they may come off as very like dream come true but they're actually a heartbreaker this is someone that stays quiet. The King of Swords could stay very quiet in conversation, kind of soaking up everything you're saying and could play with that. It's it's like leverage. So if you're talking a lot and you notice this person is not really talking, be wise in what you say. Choose your words wisely. I'm hearing somebody's playing two sides of the fence. So keep your discussions short somebody's on the side i feel like a queen of cups may want a relationship with the king of swords but they have a queen of swords already this could be somebody that they're living with or somebody that they want to marry or somebody that they want to continue having a relationship with even though it's cold it's like they still motivate them or that queen of swords has the money works really hard or has a good paying job earns you know some good guap it took some time to get where the Queen of Swords is at. Mm, I'm hearing that this should have stayed as friends. May have started out as friends as benefits. Risking to see each other at night. Could have been treat, treating each other like hoes. Because that's what I'm getting. Like It was about sneaking up. Sneaking, sneak link. Money involved. And now it turns serious. A child could be involved. A child that's um in junior high or something 
this child could be taking a lot of money or having this child. Oh my God. I'm hearing that, you know, somebody needs to go for a paternity test. Maybe there's a little bit of suspicion with the Knight of Wands with a, a child's age and a sneak link. This could also be that things turned serious after somebody got pregnant. They had to push forward, but both pe both parents was guarded. It's an ongoing battle of suspicion within the two of cups energy. A lot of partnerships, you know, partnerships that was just built off of help and financial gains. These kind of relationships are going to be exposed with for the trauma bonds that they are. Mm -mm. How much more minutes do I have? I'm going to wrap this up. I'm trying not to make these deals long. Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups. Somebody's experiencing delays with the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Cups. Nines may be very important. Nines could also denote um, finales. All right? Coming to an end. Clarity seeing what's going on some of you could be seeing what's going on psychically picking up what's going on your intuition is screaming at you bells are ringing and it's like keeping your mouth quiet or oh, keeping your mouth like keeping your mouth shut there's a spiritual enlightenment that comes with nines as well someone is too calm it's like it's it, it's almost like when you're surrounded with a certain thing for a long time, you learn to love it. So somebody's learning to like settle in, in like this cold relationship. They may go out, you know, people may envy how they're living, nice cars, but somebody is, is not pulling their weight. Someone could be a deadbeat or the job that they're working is not paying the bills like check to check and they don't feel the need to risk getting another job so it's like you could do more but you don't and it's risking everything going down the drain but you don't feel motivated something about a guy he doesn't have a competitive spirit he doesn't have a protector spirit it's almost like um he's a man but he's not manly and maybe pushing the queen of swords to pull the pants on while they sit and look like they are very successful someone has clout they're, they're pretending to be successful but they're not they're they're not they think they're successful but they're not doing what they need to do to be successful like very delusional they have convinced themselves that they are very arrogant in the way how they speak Somebody's very unhappy. It's like a nightmare. It's like a sneak link. Mm -hmm. Nine of cups pops right back up, bitch. So something is all about the physicalities, physical pleasures. It's very like lacking of soul and spirit here. I feel like two people in a situation is yearning for unconditional love, but they're not getting it from the person that they chose or the person that they were forced to build a relationship with. Because of a child or because of money. You owe me money. Still trying to make the dream work, but it's broken. This is shattered dreams that's behind the cups. Mm -mm. Somebody may have an eating disorder or they eat certain things. Or they have a special diet. Or somebody's like eating out all the time. And it's like the bills or being neglected or somebody's not eating healthy we have strength five of cups we could have leo very strong hair five of cups somebody's pretending to be successful but they're drowning in debt it's like they have committed to gambling. Um, they may have kind of shitted on people with this way of making money. And now they can't back down from that facade. What? Somebody's comfort zone is affecting their eating habits. This is a tall telling sign that something needs to change and it needs to change quickly. Somebody may be working really hard and because they're working really hard, on a business or on money, financial debt, 
they're causing a relationship to suffer or somebody needs attention, somebody needs someone right now and they can't, they're not available because of work and it's changing the dynamic of the unconditional love. Somebody feels really bad that they couldn't show up for the person that loves them and it's, it's um, they're trying not to let the mood they're trying really hard not to let the mood sway them from what they have to do. Very like blank and depressive energy, five of cups. It's like they're trying to let go of that mood. They don't want that mood to distract them. They're trying to regain composure, but they know that this is risking a love dynamic that they wanted or a love dynamic that built up their ego. It's like somebody's convincing themselves or it's other women out there. Somebody could not replace you. They still can't replace you. But they shitting on people and I feel like they can't shit on you. Like they can't flaunt this fake success around you because you could see right through them. You could see that they're unhappy no matter what they get because it's it's not built off of um, something that they value because they didn't earn it because there was no hard work involved. It, it's of no value. It's like worthless, yet they still contribute or they still invest towards it. Very disappointing and lonely. So someone may be looking apart, looking like they got that money, like the money man, but they're very lonely around these attention whores or these people that just want to parade them. It's like they're celebrating with a crowd of pretentious idiots. Huh? You have a lot of power. The Queen of Cups has a lot of power over a Leo. So I don't know if it's Pisces and Leo's coupling. Or you have showered this person with a lot of emotional care. Love. You were kind. You were sweet. It was all genuine. But they took it. And they ate it up. Their pride came before giving back to you. I'm hearing moving on. Somebody may feel like that you should move on. Or it's better if you move on. Six of Swords. This was allowed to happen. This whole ordeal. This person not learning from the past mistakes. It was allowed to happen. To force you to go upstream. Six of Swords. This person. It's like they know what they're doing. is not the best. But they can't stop. And you may be moving on with resentments. You may feel extra lonely or the distance feels extra like distant. You feel extra distant from this person now. Some of you, this had to happen for you, for you to keep moving on. Even though you may have resentments, you may be depressed. You may feel like, why is this person not getting it? I gave all this love and it goes to show that this person doesn't love me the same way. It's like you were letting that consume you. And the most high or your honorable ancestors had to push you away. It's like something had to burn down or something had to like be revealed for you to get up and go. Maybe at work, you're kind of distracted and sad. People may be picking that up. It's time for you to release that emotion. It's time for you to let go of the grief of this person. Nine of Pentacles. A lot of nines, baby. Spiritual enlightenment. You may need some solitude to complete a healing phase. Or there's solitude needed before you could move on in the Nine of Pentacles. We have the Two of Cups energy. You're still longing for a relationship. You're still longing for that needed discussion. But it's okay for you to actively wait. If your heart is really there with this person and you know you know what the situation is or what it's called for, you could actively wait. But actively wait means getting back to your shit, standing on your business and becoming a person of motion in your world. You are looking good. You're, re you're regaining a lot of blessings and rewards or they're going to be handed to you. You worked really hard. This is this is the doubly confirmation of toil and labor with nine of pentacles. Like you have an awareness of love. 
that's part of your divine principle. Some of you, this person is pushing you from your solar plex energy to your heart core. Don't let this person make you feel bad because they're calling you out on what you're spending your money on because I feel like that's what's going to come. They're going to try to make you feel like you should be paying their way or you should be paying for, for their day. Like I feel like if you reach out to this person and you want to spend time, they may try to obligate you into paying for time off. So let's say that they have like this thing going on with gambling. If you want to spend time with them, you got to pay them what they would be what they would win if they gamble or somebody is like hanging around you for money. What? You may be feeling trapped at work or trapped by the situation. Some of you could be trapped by a pregnancy. Some of you, this person gives you the, the vibe that they would marry or they would get with someone for money. Nine of Pentacles, Two of Cups. Some of you may be um, saving up for a new home, a new car. Or you're saving up just to have money saved in case of a rainy day or unexpected bill. This person may try to tap into that. You look luxurious. You're full of gratitude. They could be playing on these attributes. You're very self-sufficient. Keep that. Strengthen that. Learn to... It's like you got to learn to say no. This is your shit. You work too hard for someone to deceive you or um, use you like a whore. I'm hearing prostitution twice with the thief card and the nine of pentacles. You need to be cautious. You need to be discreet with the money that you make. It's so sad that you have to move like this with this person. It's almost like they're became, becoming your enemy. Someone may be going through your bag. They may be trying to go through your phone to see your accounts in your uh, digital wallet. You're thriving, but you put in the work and you're attracting people that wants to feed or leech off of that. That's, this person could be a leech. And you're in love with a thief or you're in love with a liar. You're in love with a car and artist. Some of you, this person steals your car when you're at work or they're up and down in your car when you're at work. So they drop you at work. They could be picking you up late at work. You need to be cautious. If you're feeling trapped by this certain lifestyle that you have tried to maintain or you're dependent or you like when this person's dependent on you financially, you need to be cautious, my love. So I'm going to leave it there. It was not the best of the reading, but a lot of you need to hear the truth. Yeah, I'm going to try to title this as close as the theme is. So if it's not for you, you're not going to be drawn into the title. And this doesn't have to be a romantic relationship it could be a platonic relationship it could be somebody that you're talking to right now it could be a friend it could be a relative that's going through this shit this person is attracted to wealth and luxury people that work hard they target individuals like that so this could be someone that's really good at fooling people into loving them, into investing in them. This is something that they have built up to get what they want. They are a thief, whether they're taken from you emotionally, financially, spiritually, or all using sex to kind of um, hypnotize you into giving. They may say that certain things that you're doing for yourself is like a waste of money because they want you to give them your money. All right, let me know what you guys think. Get that fucking energy off, all right? Let me know what you guys think. Like, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys in another channel message. Chat to you guys later. Ciao.